Hi, welcome to the show. Today I've got a double upload. The first video is going to feature a guest star, Shanette, who is the inventor of DoDisco. She's going to show you five top tips about using DoDisco in your classroom. And in the second video, I've got Early Years Emily, who is a famous YouTuber who makes lots of videos about dance and music and movement. Enjoy. Hi, welcome to School of Spread the Happiness, and I'm Shanette, the inventor of the fine muscle control exercise called Do Disco. And in this video, it's my hope that I can give you some value into understanding a little bit more about what Do Disco actually is. So I'm going to give you five takeaways in this free video. I'm going to give you five things, okay? Number one. It takes six human years for the brain to learn to control the body. That doesn't matter where in the world you come from. And the last thing the brain starts to learn to control is the fingers. Door Disco is an exercise that needs to be done daily. You can't really do it wrong if you follow the YouTube videos and you have the magic ingredients of Play-Doh, fingers and music. Music is the disco and without the music what is do disco and the most important thing about do disco is that it's an exercise that you do every day and the number two point is if you do the exercise every day with your children really young children's brains connect to their fingers a lot quicker number three top tip about your fingers is let the children name them. So I just use the normal finger names, Tommy Thumb, Peter Pointer, Toby Tall, Ruby Ring, and Baby Small. It's really, really important that you use both hands and both sets of fingers. And it's all about the simplicity of the exercise. That's the most beautiful thing, that by doing this exercise, it is so simple, so effective, children's brains will start to connect to their fingers. Simply the touch of the finger onto the door. Come on, let's get my dough out. Now, I have on my pots of disco door a clicking lid and the reason when I sourced this door, it was essential that the supplier gave us a clicking lid because I want the children to be as independent as possible. So top tip, my next top tip is the, the door itself could actually be a self-registration tool. Put the name of the child on the door, put it by the door, the child brings it in. You could even door disco with parents at the start of the day, which would be really magical because it, parents can do this at home as well. It's a great tool for parent partnership. So look at the door here. Now, in a very, very young child whose brain is hardly connected to their body, I would be expecting them to just be squeezing, squeezing, squeezing but advanced people might be sausaging and then they might be nipping and there is other advanced moves that you could find out about if you subscribe to School of Spread the Happiness you can access all of the trainings available here but most of all you can access the three training videos and the three brand new door disco videos to use in your classroom. The other thing that I recommend if you're not ready to subscribe is go onto the shop and buy the door disco book for three pounds because that will remind you of all the moves get out there people and let your fingers do the dancing let's go to the door